Hi everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So today we are uh, in uh, Montpellier in, at Milizingo, which is a wine fair, and we're here with Thais. We're gonna be tasting and trying out the first blend of uh, the Anthora Cuvée. So we are very much Great. looking forward to see the first uh, the first blends. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the wines are tasting very good themselves, and yeah, so the blending should be good. But we need to adjust it and find out the the right blending. So let's get started. Thank you. So here we go with Amcora number one. Number one, nice. Ripe Sauvignon Blanc. Tell us your impressions. It's very clean and fruity on the nose. It is. Sauvignon, yeah. green, green style, lime. And here there's no Sauvignon at all. No Sauvignon, you mean? Oh. Now this is. And the number one is the ripe Sauvignon. Yeah, yeah, yeah ripe right Sauvignon. Right. That's 100%. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very cool with this green. It's, it's ripe, but it's very powerful, nice and tingy acidity. It's really mouth-watering acidity. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. It's really refreshing. And it has very good, good mouth-filling structure. Uh, <laughs> I, I could imagine myself mixing with some oysters or yeah. salmon right now. It would be very nice. Is this uh, an acidity that you find uh, is specific for amphora? Is it different from the acidity that you find in the... Uh, well, the, the, the mouth structure is, is, is different than in a normal tank, for sure. And uh, the acidity, because the mouth filling, the roundness, uh, is different, and the acidity perception change as well. Okay. Um, that's a very good, uh, good evolution of the winemaking process, you know, it's... Plus, we have the, the Elvage on Lees, which was, of course, much longer in the Amphora. And uh, it definitely brings more complexity to the wine. Is that because you think it needs more time? Uh... Yeah, it's well, definitely. The, 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 the mouth feeling is much different than the, the, the first uh, sample. And the fact that it's cloudy changed the taste. And um, of course, this will be decanted further, and at some point, it will be completely crystal clear. Um, or almost close to clear, but it will be less cloudy for sure. But this cloudiness right now, considering the fact that we have uh, decanted recently, the, the wine is still evolving, so it's still in the zero point, and it will, it will evolve and change. Okay. Oh, and of course, it was picked earlier, yep. so the acidity is right. <laughs> How do you explain that if the, the, all, or the other one is still very cloudy and this is... Because I got... I, I actually did um, get rid of the lees of the other one. Uh, you did that way before? Yeah, no, 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 but um, the sample was taken before I got rid of the lees on ah, this one. Okay. So the lees were at the bottom okay. and uh, the previous one, I took the sample after getting rid of the release. So the one had been slightly removed. Yeah. So there's lees in, in the sample, but actually by now they already settled down at the bottom. And, uh, the thing is by gravity it falls. So, but if you take the sample after, when you come, you mix, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, it's that's gonna be called uh, Sauvignac, actually, okay. the near future, because it's very. Uh, it's uh, it's coming from Sauvignon Blanc, actually. So you have this kind of Sauvignon Blanc notes. This really mango, sweet yeah. shower yeah. 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 It's really interesting because it's completely different. You know? It's just something that we're not used to, but it's very right fruit.
Um, dus we hebben dus zojuist de drie verschillende amfora's gekocht. Um, met de verschillende, uh, twee verschillende soorten Sauvignon Blanc en één amfora van de resistente druiven. Um, het idee is om eigenlijk van de drie verschillende amfora's een blend te gaan maken. Uh, wat die precies een blend is, is uh, wat voor mij eigenlijk lastig te zeggen. Uh, dus daar gaan we nu mee aan de slag om de verschillende wijnen bij elkaar te proeven in de verschillende percentages. Om te kijken wat uiteindelijk uh, de beste blend zal zijn. Okay, with the with five blendings and uh, it's been pretty successful, hasn't it? Uh, Absolutely. So we tried uh, three different uh, amphoras in different uh, proportions, um, and the very first results are looking very promising. So we've made our uh, choice of the, the the blend what it's going to be like. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more time before the wine is finished and bottled, uh, but we're we're very confident about the quality, and we look forward to presenting it to you soon in the Netherlands. Cool. Thanks a lot again for the for supporting us in this project because it's been uh, very very interesting. It's not finished. No, but, but we're, oh, we're getting closer. Yeah, and it's a real pleasure. <laughs> and it's been a pleasure, and it's still a pleasure, and we we really learned a lot from it as well. Thanks to thanks to your support. So. Uh,